welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do this guy's 10 month update. And I'm going to do it a little bit different than I normally do. Normally I do a sit down and talk about him and try and hold him and all of that. But today I want to do it different because he's all over the place. So I'm going to kind of like follow him around and talk about him. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong? You took a good nap today. Yes, you did. He loves to play with things that are not his. Oh, he just unplugged my phone. Oh, yeah. Like I said, he is all over the place. I don't know if you can see, but he has got a nice little shiner on his forehead. He's got one on his nose. He's got a scratch on his neck. He has got boo-boos everywhere. And that's because he is um, crawling around everywhere. He's pulling up on everything. He's walking with toys that he should not be walking with. And especially like Cade's big trucks and stuff. And when he walks with them, <laughs> he falls. Because the wheels are not like, they move easily. Whereas his walker, you can control like how easily the wheels move. So he's been falling quite a bit. Um, and so he's got some boobies to show with it. See, I just had to move this out of the way. Because it was on the couch. And he was trying to get it. And whenever I take something away that he shouldn't have, he screams just like you heard. So that is something that we are seeing a lot. He has a huge temper. So he just scared the cat away. Whenever he sees the cat, he laughs and goes crazy. Don't mind all of these clothes that need to be folded. And he's off to go play with some toys. This little racetrack is like the first thing he goes to every time he comes to the living room. He pulls it and takes apart the track. He's about to rip that blue part off. And then he'll take it around the living room with him and play with it. At this point, he pretty much plays with anything and everything. Um, anything that is his, anything that is his brother's, he will play with because... He is just into everything. He also likes to go in these cabinets that we have right here. So we've got this one right here and this one. And he goes in them and he pulls everything out. He's doing a lot more talking now. Like he'll turn around and look at me and like talk. And then I'll say something back and he'll talk again. Not really talk, but, you know, baby talk. Jax, what are you doing? Jax! Jax, what are you doing? Oh, really? What else? Oh, really? What do you want to do? Do you want to play? Here, you want to play with your truck? You want to play with your cool fire truck? <gasps> oh, there goes a the drawer. <laughs> as you can see, he just let his hands go. He's been testing his balance lately as well. Like, he'll be walking along the furniture or, like, standing on a toy or using a toy to stand up with, and he'll just let go, and he'll just stand there. He's testing out his balance, which is exciting but scary at the same time because I know he's going to start walking soon. See, there he goes again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jax, what are you doing? Come here, you want to come push your car?
This is another one of his favorite things to do right now, too. He watches his big brother, Cade, push his cars along the floor. And so he copies him, and now he pushes his cars around the floor as well. And it is the cutest thing ever. Go this way. There you go. Now do it. <gasps> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so he does this really cute thing whenever he's laying on the ground. <laughs> when he gets mad, like if I have to change his diaper or something. And he tenses up and he makes this noise. And he, this hand right here, he will tighten in a ball and it's so cute. See, he's just like. <laughs> Do it again. Do it. Do it. What are you doing? His favorite place to play is his brother's room. Well, that's where he's at now. He wants to wake him up. You ready? Let's go get him. getting on your bed, doesn't he? Okay, Be careful. Easy. Uh, <gasps> Are you going to get on Kate's bed? Uh, I can't. You can't get him out there? Yeah. That's okay. It Maybe he doesn't want to go up there right now. Uh, Hang on. He's going to he's gonna try and step up there. Uh, <laughs> Here, let me help. Uh, there we go. He's up there now. <gasps> Look at that big boy on the big boy bed. Oh no, he's gonna fall off. <laughs> so this boy is such a mama's boy. I came into my room to plug up the monitor and he was in the living room and he came in here. Followed me. He's so clingy at this age and he just wants me all the time. Isn't that right, Jax? Wherever I am, he has to be. Right? Right. <laughs> he is also very hilarious because whenever he sees the boppy, he knows it's time to nurse. And he starts acting like this. What's wrong? You want some milk? Very impatient like his daddy. Another one of his favorite things to do, mess with the blondes. That's why I have this one raised, because he always goes to that one, but he just went to that one. There he goes. But he loves to pull on the blondes and stuff, so I have them all raised. The ones that he normally goes to. What are you doing? Hi. You looking out the window? <gasps> Are you looking out the window? Let's play. Where's Jax? Jax, where are you? <gasps> what are you doing, mister? I found you. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Did you get my face wash I bought today? Yeah. We play this game a lot. He travels throughout the house and we play Where's Jax? And I go and find him. Where's Jax again? Is he in here? He's left my room. Where's Jax? <gasps> There's Jax! What are you doing? Hi. Hi, baby. Are you playing in your brother's room? Yeah.
and oh really <gasps> tell me about it see he really is a mama's boy he just crawled up in my lap and now kate's joined us hi ow what you got babe another favorite thing pulling off all the books off the bookshelf there's one book you gonna pull another book off Jax? He pulls off like five at a time usually. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, are you actually going to read it? He has longer how to read it. He has longer how to read it. See, that's how I wonder how to do that. Yeah. We just said that. How does this? Is that a monkey? Here's the monkey. Monkey. <laughs> now it's high monkey. <laughs> oh, there's more books. He loves pulling the night lights off. What do you have? Jax. Are you trying to put it back now? You're a little turkey. You ate the hamburger bun? Everything goes in his mouth. Oh, he's also got a tooth coming in. That's why. He's got four teeth and his fifth one is coming in. One on the top. Oh, there goes the food. Where's your pickle at? <gasps> got ice cream? I told him it was time to eat and he's coming down the hallway. Come on, let's go eat. You ready? Come on. Let's eat. You coming? Come on, Kate, it's time to eat. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? All right. Castle. Okay, build a sand castle. Every night, Cade gives his brother Cheerios. Not too many, okay? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. So he'll usually have Cheerios while I'm eating my dinner. Um, and then I'll feed him. So here's Jax's dinner. He's got banana bread that I made, and then some cut up bananas. And then he might also have um, some yogurt. I typically give him a yogurt every day, whether it's during his lunch. Okay, I'll give you banana bread too. Whether it's during his lunch or his dinner. And then he'll have um, some baby cereal with breast milk as well. And then sometimes, um, like if we're having veggies, I'll give him some veggies and stuff too. He loves carrots. But we typically give him what we're eating, but on nights that I am home alone with the boys, this is kind of like what his dinner will consist of. So I figured while he's finishing up his dinner, I would finish up his update. As you can see, he's drinking his water. So anytime he has a meal, we give him um, water. And we've been giving him to him in these sippy cups, but... Sometimes he doesn't do too well with them. So we've been also seeing that he will crawl around and get his brother his brother's cups. And all his brother drinks are out of these um, Miracle 360 cups. So we've been giving him water in these and he does really well with them. Um, but he's doing pretty good with it tonight. Is that yummy? Um, and normally he makes a huge mess when he eats dinner. We just kind of like let him go at it. But it's really late tonight, and so I'm just kind of feeding him with a fork so that way he doesn't get super dirty so we don't have time for a bath tonight. We typically do a bath every other night, and tonight is not bath night anyways. Um, so I'm going to finish feeding him. Here. Banana. Um, but typically, every night, no matter what he's eating, we'll let him feed himself. 
So, she's an exception tonight because they woke up late from their nap, super late, and um, they're eating dinner super late too. He's a very slow eater, but he will eat pretty much anything that's put in front of him. So, which is the complete opposite of Cade because Cade is very, very picky. So, it's kind of nice. Dex, but he also gets distracted very easily, as you can tell. Here, let's finish eating. Hey, let's finish eating dinner. Stop. He's very testy, too. Here, eat. Um. Anything and everything distracts him, so he takes forever to eat. Anyways, an update on his heart condition. So he, we found out at 10 days old that he had a heart condition called SVT, where he has an irregular heartbeat. It beats like 300 times per minute, um, which is very dangerous. So he's been on a medicine ever since he came out of the hospital <clears throat> when he was two weeks old. So he was in the hospital for like five days from 10 days old where he was transported to the hospital by ambulance after a routine doctor's visit um, until they could figure out what kind of medicine would regulate his heart. So he's been on that medicine ever since he was 10 or 11 days old. And when we went to his cardiologist appointment when he was six months old, the cardiologist felt okay with stopping his medicine at that point because babies typically grow out of it um, by the time they're one. And if not by the time they're one, by the time they're two or three. And so he typically likes to stop doing the medicine at six months. But I was not ready. And, well, we weren't really ready. And so we continued to give him the medicine um, until I got out of work for the summer because I'm a teacher. So that way I could watch him very closely and monitor him and all of that. Um, so we just stopped his medicine this past week and today's Sunday we got his last dose on Tuesday and so far so good fingers crossed he's outgrown it and we don't have another scary thing like we had when he was 10 days old that was the scariest time of my life oh my gosh so scared anyways he um, has been fine. Of course, I've been really, really anxious about it, but he's been fine. I listen to his heart all the time. I try to stick to just twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. But there have been a couple times where he was like fussy. Um, earlier today, his lips look kind of blue. Like, And whenever anything out of the ordinary happens, I freak out. And I get really anxious. And I run and grab the stethoscope and check his heart rate. Every time, thank goodness, it's been normal. Um, the general rule the doctor told us, the cardiologist told us, was if you can count it, then you're fine. If you can't count it, if it's beating so fast where you can't keep count, then that's when you got a problem. Yeah, I think that's about it for this update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit different than what I've done in the past, but I'm really just doing it to, you know, document him so I can look back later and see how much he's grown and when he met all of his milestones and all of that. So, but if you happen to watch this video and you did like it and you made it all the way to the end, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Can you say bye? Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? We don't have a wave down yet. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. No?
say more? Do you want more? More. Good job. Okay, you can have some more. Here. You wanted more, right? Mmm.